Adam Rehabilitation Performance Brace. It comes with two braces, a waistband, and four resistance types bands that hook onto the waistband. It even comes with a really cool training guide that explains exactly how to use it. Usually engineers have some hard time jumping into entrepreneurship, but you run, jump right away into entrepreneurship. Part of this is, is our framework pulls that bone back into the socket into a favorable position, like I mentioned earlier, and it prevents that type of pain from happening. You give yourself, you give me five minutes before you play, your shoulder will feel exponentially better when you go to pick up that rack. <laughs> Does that make me a bad inventor? <laughs> Then push-ups. Yeah. <laughs> you give me 20. Get, <laughs> give me 20. <laughs> that is kidding. Shoulder lifts too to make sure my shoulder blades are in proper positioning. I am so happy to say that I now am virtually shoulder pain free and I'm back to lifting pretty heavy on upper body days. If you struggle with shoulder pain, I highly... Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. You guys are watching Tech Ed TV podcast. Here we have another guest, someone that is uh, an entrepreneur, uh, friend, and um, a very smart engineer, Jordan. He is the founder of Adam Rehabilitation, and he is an, an engineer with a master's degree in biomedical engineering. So if you want to learn something about nutrition, medical stuff, biotech, here's your guy. How are you, man? I'm good. Thank you so much. Uh, this is definitely something that has been long overdue. I'm very excited and very happy to sit, be sitting here across this table with you right now. So, so thank you. Great. And then uh, coming back to your uh, company, uh, I, I know you, you call it Anna Rehabilitation, but you're really sort of rebranding. What, what's, uh, what, what is the take on that? What's, what's the update? Okay. So we've got a couple of options here for names and the possibility for rebranding is primarily due to the fact that we are more of an exercise company. We're not a rehabilitation facility, right? So we offer an exercise solution and pain product that is not necessarily a rehab center. So a lot of individuals are getting confused seeing that, Hey, Adam rehabilitation, this is a place where I have to go into not recognizing that we offer a really solution, a shoulder solution, shoulder and neck solution in a box. So we we're looking at a couple of different names, not going to name them on here, just in case one of you tries to buy the domain name before I can get to it and, and sell it off to me. But no, we, we are looking at a, at a couple of rebranding options to kind of make it centered and more focused on the actual solution to the pain product that we're bringing out to the table. Adam does stand for advanced dynamics for adaptive movements. It's not my name. Um, but <laughs> just in case, just, just, yeah. So, so there is, there is some symbolism there, but again, I think the rehabilitation part is kind of throwing this, uh, clinic situation out with most of my, uh, clients. And I, it is something that I've been repeating quite often. So I think something more like a generic name that might include like elbows or joints or shoulders or neck, something along those lines might be a little bit better for a, on, an online presence. That being said. But you have a, a, a background in uh, in business because uh, you just graduated from FAU with a master's degree. Usually engineers have some hard time jumping into entrepreneurship, but you run, jump right away into entrepreneurship because the business runs in your blood. Isn't that right? That's right. Yeah. No, my, my father's been an entrepreneur and a business owner my whole life. My parents had both run uh, car businesses. Throughout me growing up, I had witnessed the hustle and the grind, and I, and I grew up, my first job was at Champ Sports, where I was um, told to sell little insoles and um, shoe cleaners to everyone. So I had learned to start pitching people on small items from then on, even when I was 16 years old, all the way up to all of my um, jobs and the jobs that I'd worked throughout my um, lifetime have all been sales commission jobs where I've been selling things for other people. And I moved from small items up to bigger ticket items in, in medical device sales, where I was selling items anywhere between three to $5,000 a ticket. So, and that's, I, I've learned and navigated my way through there. So. Great. So, but you would recommend to an engineer that is, uh, let's say doing FAU, you have a bachelor's and a master's, obviously you're mm -hmm. very inclined to, to technology. You love tech, you love software, you love, and, and you love learning, which I, yeah. I, I've seen you here. And what would you tell those engineers watching you today? What to do to become an entrepreneur, just like you are transitioning now? We're going to go a little bit more on your business, but what's your advice to all of those guys? 
any anybody who wants to be an entrepreneur, I think the first and biggest thing, you have to really solve a problem and identify that you're solving a problem. And when you solve a problem and you you once you solve a problem, not all problems can be monetizable. If you can solve a problem that can be monetizable in a, in a way, then I think you should pursue it and do a little bit of a market analysis and do some research, do some questions, get some, go out of your way and ask your friend, not, not necessarily your family, but ask your friends, the friends of your friends. Okay. So you can kind of get a quick in, Hey, um, John, can you introduce me to him? Cool. And you have a, you have a nice little easy in, and ask them if they're part of your customer segment of who you would identify as your customer. Is this something that you would like? Is this something that you would buy? Is this something that would help you? How much would you pay for it? And identify it from there. Because if, if you can't get someone to agree to even a hypothetical question, you don't have a business. You need to solve it. You need to have a problem, offer a solution, and make sure that it is something that people will buy and pay for from you. It's your first steps. Well, that's, that's a very good advice. Because in your case, what inspired you to create? By the way, he has a patent. On that technology, <laughs> he's a, is that your first patent? You have more ideas, right? I have more ideas. So right. let's just start with that. How, how, how do you come up with this patentable idea? And tell us about the process of patenting your idea in the biomedical field, which is a little bit different than software. And um, I think you successfully achieved that. Go ahead. Yeah, thank you. No, so my mom, my mother has rheumatoid arthritis. Um, I had not only do I have my master's in biomedical engineering, I've been a strength and conditioning coach and a master personal trainer for about eight years. I have helped thousands of individuals overcome pain, instabilities, improve their um, fitness, and really get back onto the things, doing the things that they love very quickly. The process of helping my mom was quite complicated. My mother has, again, rheumatoid arthritis and a couple of other autoimmune conditions that create not only an instability in her body, but weakness, problems lifting things, her hand dexterity was weak. So traditional methods of exercise physiology were not applicable to her. We had to go through special methods of one-on-one -on -one variations. It was a very slow pro progression type of period because the stability in her body wasn't there. And the tools and the resources that I had to be able to help her were not sufficient whatsoever. They were time, the, the time that it took me to set up even one variation of the exercise and then for her to do it took five to 10 minutes alone. The processes of going through a physical therapist, the physical therapists were going one-on-one -on -one and they were having the same issue. It was a time issue. We could not get through enough to see a, a proven benefit out of her training because we're doing such small amounts. And even at that, it wasn't scalable. There was no progress that we were able to monitor she was getting defeated. Her emotional health was, was dimming because she couldn't strengthen her body. She was suffering greatly with a neck issue. Her traps were so incredibly tight because she was unable to exercise her upper shoulders. And actually, and, I, and this was something, part of our framework is where this is resolved and, and focused on is repositioning the scapula into a favorable or a biomechanically favorable position to loosen the upper neck muscles and to actually balance out all of those those upper shoulder muscles themselves so that way you are in a position that is now pain free okay but but that inspired you uh when when did this happen and what was the process that that yeah. went follow to your to your invention so this was about six or seven years ago this was about six or seven years ago so all of these processes i knew that there was there was an issue here. I couldn't find the modality or the tool to use anywhere. And like I said, everything that I was doing or that had available, it was either strapping something on her arm, holding her arm in this way. I was, it was, it took a lot of one-on-one -on -one care and there was no way that she would have been able to do any of this without me or a professional there. So I started looking up all these different solutions and I recognized quite early on that an elbow brace could stabilize her arm. And the muscles of the shoulder and of the scapula, the, the ones and of your back, they're connected at the top part of your arm closer to the shoulder itself. So really anything below like the midpoint of your bicep could be a connection point that is used in order to go ahead and facilitate a full range of motion. Okay. So 
I combined these two to what a traditional hand grip was, which is just a cable with a ring on it that you connected a, a ribbon or two. That Chronic pain can be on a cable. Sorry, sorry, That's okay. <laughs> I was going to put your video up <laughs> So it, I, we connected a hand grip or anything that you can connect a cable or elastic band to. And I, and I basically transformed that into a, an elbow brace. And this combination of the elbow brace with these rings on it, the way that we have our rings connected to the actual elbow is what is patented. So I own the patent for the ring connection at the elbow brace and a knee brace because of the way that they are intended to use. Now the shoulder and the hips are very similar. So we were able to cross join over through the patent. So basically your patent covers a, a new mechanism to basically stabilize joints independently of the the shoulder, could be the, the hip, could be the knee. As well, that's right. So it'll be it's it's the combination of the L joint fixture, so either the the elbow or the knee, okay, in an effort to stabilize the ball and socket joint, which is the hip or the shoulder. Okay, and those are very difficult to to actually fix if you don't. If I have a shoulder injury myself, that's why I met him because he was like in a, in a, in, a, in a, presenting his project. And I was let me try it out, and I was like, wow, for the first time I feel that. My shoulder's not gonna pop if I, especially if you do a lot of extension exercises like lifting a weight, uh, uh, shoulder exercises. And then um, when I saw it, I was like, "Wow, this is brilliant! This is amazing! It's a very good out of the box thinking." And that's how Jordan and, and myself met a few a few months back. And coming back to your to your invention, what's, what's the do you know the patent number by the to uh, on, on top of your head? I don't know. Oh, man. I, I, <laughs> Does that make me a bad inventor? <laughs> 10 push ups. Yeah. <laughs> you gave me 20. Gonna, gonna... <laughs> give me 20. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I was going to show you. The, the, I know you sent me like this a video a while back about uh, your product. Is that yes. okay if I show it? Yeah, no, please, please. Okay, let's watch it. So we're gonna take away it from your energy, diminish your quality of life. And unfortunately, many people associate that chronic pain is because of aging. And it's just simply not true. This is not the case. When you start to lose functionality in your shoulders because of chronic pain, it'll cause misery, take energy from you, and it begins a process of overall decreasing mobility. Now, these small things add up over time. And before you know it, you've given up completely. But giving up is not the solution. What you need is a system that you can use in an ongoing way, particularly in regard to helping your shoulders. Something that you can go back to without having to go to the doctor or physical therapy, something you can use at home anytime when you need it. This is where Adam Rehabilitation comes in. I'm a biomedical engineer. I have my master's in engineering and I've spent the last eight years helping thousands of individuals overcome pain, weaknesses, instability, and mobility issues. This system was designed specifically to cure my mother's neck pain in the safest and easiest way possible. And it's the same solution with a proven framework that we're gonna be offering you. Our Atom Performance System is a proven framework that can help reverse shoulder instability, reduce shoulder pain, reduce rotator cuff strain, relieve frozen shoulder, bursitis, shoulder impingements, neck pain, and so much more. At this moment, I knew I messed up. This was in December and I've had shoulder pain ever since then and I didn't know what to do. Then I discovered the Adam Rehabilitation Performance Brace. It comes with two braces, a waistband, and four resistant types bands that hook on to the waistband. It even comes with a really cool training guide that explains exactly how to use it and what exercises to do to improve your overall shoulder health. This was a really cool concept for me since I can't afford physical therapy right now. The system is designed to improve mobility, stability, and strength within your shoulders. I take it to the gym with me now and use it as a warm-up for my upper body days. I even use it on my shoulder lifts too to make sure my shoulder blades are in proper positioning. I am so happy to say that I now am virtually shoulder pain free and I'm back to lifting pretty heavy on upper body days. If you struggle with shoulder pain, I highly recommend you check out the Adam Rehabilitation Performance Brace today. I'm going to leave it there because you actually go into a lot of details for your video <laughs> and then you can find him at adamrehabilitation.com. Well, he, that was the, the raw video that he recorded. <laughs> so he did some editing because he's very good at uh, multiple things. I mean, this guy is like a full, like a full blown editor. He can uh, do marketing now. He's uh, tell us a bit about that your, your background in terms of uh, your curiosity. Like, what other things are, are, are in your bag of tricks? So, uh, you know, 
I'll say that more of my specialties are definitely metabolics and nutrition. Um, I do a lot of marketing now, but this is all, these are all things that, that if anyone's going to learn how to be a business owner, you have to know all of it. That's you, what I'm trying to say. Like yeah. I want, I want engineers to listen yeah. because engineers sometimes, I don't do marketing. Oh my goodness. Yeah. What and, happened? What and, happened? And good luck. What happened? <laughs> what could happen to you if you don't try it even once? So, so you, you are going to get, you are going to crash and burn cash flow so fast because these, they, they are, okay. And I'm not going to say that these marketing agencies are con artists. You know, I'm not going to say that. Well, no, but, we're not going to say but, that, but, but no, some but, of them are <laughs> for real. <laughs> but, but there are so many people that claim that they can do this. They're going to charge you an arm and a leg and they're, and you're not going to understand the amount of work that it takes to actually make something happen until you do it. And when you start to become proficient in these things, you can start to leverage your knowledge against these individuals, even if you're somewhat good at it, and then pair up together. So I have been, it, I have become extremely proficient with Canva and Final Cut Pro, which I would deem the two top softwares right now outside of Adobe and DaVinci, which are like the, the other Photoshop um, editors. But if you can get familiar with a good video editing software, and whether it's Final Cut Pro, DaVinci, or Adobe. And then you can also do a small time like Canva course and learn how to use Canva proficiently. You will be able to do 90% of the things on your own. And it's only going to take a half of a brain cell. I promise. Well, that's exactly right. So that basically something in entrepreneurs need to learn to wear different hats. And Jordan is a living proof that he has learned those things because he didn't know those things when he came here the first time. So he went ahead and said, you know what? I'm going to learn that. A couple of weeks later, he's like, look at what I did. I was like, wow, that looks like like a marketer did it. <laughs> so then that was like, uh, so it, it's it, it, as almost in a way, I think you're in, inspiring other engineers that are like, how old are you, like uh, Jordan? Just to make sure engineers, I think that he's like, uh, well, he looks like he's 21, but he's a little older than that. I'm but. 27. But, uh, and he is also a bodybuilder, believe it or not. <laughs> well, he told us one time we were in the car. You said it. I remember that. I wasn't crazy. Isn't that right? I was. I was. I wish we had a picture to throw on the screen. But, but I, I, I was a bodybuilder at one, at one point or another. And that was the beginning of my training career as I, 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 I learned how to do this very well. Yeah, and that's the point, right? Sometimes engineers, uh, I think, uh, and, and I'm not trying to accuse anyone because if you cannot, lift weight if that's not that, that's not for you i'm not making you do that because then you will end up buying his product to re, re, to get rehabilitated after the injuries you, you cost to yourself in but, fact uh, go lift weights go hurt yourself so i can fix you it's no don't that's a good no. marketing plan no, no, i'm just kidding we're not saying that but what, what i'm trying to say is that those engineers out there that they want to build a product they want to build something a software or a hardware product which is hardware is more difficult to 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 achieve then, um, then uh, follow his his lead, and if, and you're very very approachable, right? Like people can come here, and then like um they can um they can bring an idea, and then you 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 can give him some oh, advice if you have some time, right? Absolutely, I would love to help out other engineers and people who are bringing on different products. I've had so much help along this journey for the past six seven years from incredible people, um just like yourself, who have who have decided to out of their goodwill of their heart to go ahead and propel me to new levels. And it's, it's something that you learn when, once you're in the industry and helping other individuals that this is what it is to give back as you move along. Someone presents you with something. How can you assist them? How can you help them in whatever type of way? And, and there's specific things that, that individuals might not know how to do that you might have a connection for. And even if it's just pointing them in direction, I would love to help anyone that comes in, that comes by with the, these are called soft good products is what I do right? The elbow bracing, the manufacturing and things. If you have a physical product, it's very different than a 3D animated printed, um, you know, system. Right. So, so within soft goods, I have manufacturers, I have contacts for development. I have contacts from computer automated digitals, from video editor. I've, I've got it all. And it's, and it's really something that, you know, I've been through the trials and tribulations myself. If someone presents to me with a new type of idea that I might be able to help them, I, I know for sure that I could help speed track that. And right now for sales, I know you've been working a lot in the, in, the, in your marketing campaigns for your product itself, for the, this framework for rehabilitating your shoulder. We have some samples here in the incubator. You want to try it. And uh, basically, like, you can do that exercise. You can do multiple other exercises. What's the price for that? It's $200. 
right now, give it or take, you get two elbow braces, the whole kit, the waist belt, the four elastic bands. It comes in either a 10 pound or a 25 pound set. You also get the full 64 page training guide that comes along with it and a 30 day shoulder solution. So if you're in pain, you currently have neck or shoulder pain right now. I have a 30 day framework for you to follow to get out of pain within 30 days. And truthfully, you'll see results within 10 days, no matter what. And if you're following this framework for five minutes a day, you'll see you'll see it immediately. Yeah, and then the Anna Rehabilitation product right now is available for sale online as well as the, uh, the website that we're sh showing you below. So you can click on that and go on and buy one for yourself. If you believe they have a, a shoulder injury or uh, or any uh, difficulty. Like, does it work for 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 actually like playing a sport? Let's say playing pickleball or tennis. Can you can you use it as well? Absolutely. So what's funny is that there's a there's a segment of our customer base that are overhead athletes that have been using and abusing their shoulders for years, haven't been able to find relief. And part of this is is our framework pulls that bone back into the socket into a favorable position, like I mentioned earlier, and it prevents that type of pain from happening. You give yourself, you give me five minutes before you play, your shoulder will feel exponentially better when you go to pick up that racket or the paddle. And one more thing that is important to remember for all, all our audience here is that you have those for sale uh, also here. Right? You have some inventory already, so it's not that you will order and wait like six months you have inventory right now ready to be delivered. You can even hand deliver, hand carry that if you're local here at Boca Raton, perhaps. I've seen you doing that to some of your customers. I will give a an exclusive egg elevator opportunity for any entrepreneur or any businessman that is listening to this and watching this right now. If you come into the Eagle Evader, I will personally do a one-on-one -on -one demo with you and go through and see to make sure that if this is the perfect fit for you or not. Oh, man, you, you better come quickly because <laughs> Mr. Jordan may withdraw that offer soon. <laughs> so uh, one last thing is that you have a nice roadmap. You have other, other components that you want to build, and you want to incorporate software technologies around your product, accelerometer. You want to incorporate open, open, open uh, AI, maybe like computer vision to enable better uh, tracking of your progress. What, what's in your mind right now that you can share? I know you want to pass on some of those things, but what can you share to the audience? So there's a couple of things that I'll say that are coming up in the upcoming future. And in the science-y, more software tech side, we are working on a movement visualizations, uh, visualization system that allows you to have real-time feedback in your home, like having me as a personal trainer on your screen guiding you, almost this gamification of your exercise for the first time. It's going to be really exciting. I mean, you're going to be raising your arms up. It's going to have green arrows showing you. It's going to tell you if you didn't complete a full rep. It's going to count your reps, how long you're going to be doing it. It's going to be really, really cool and really fun as an interactive tool to make sure that you're staying on track. And we're also trying to pull that all together into a data sheet or like a final PDF document for each one of your workouts. So you can see how fast you did it. You'll be able to select what stage your exercise was in. And you'll be able to see over time how much better you're doing and how much faster you're moving and how you're feeling overall. There's also going to be kind of key key points in like drink your water, you know, make sure you get good, a good night's sleep. Like, hey, it's time, time to go ahead and get moving again. You've been sitting a little bit long. So we're, we're trying to integrate this into a whole health system as this comes along to, you know, really better and give the best offer that we can. Right. That's phenomenal news. And I know that we're running out of time right now for the show, but, but Jordan is, uh, he's, uh, he's been, uh, he's a good family man too. He's like you said, like he tried to help his mom. I met his mom, very nice lady. And besides that, what's your, your main takeaway for all those engineers out there that, want to pursue their dreams as an entrepreneur and what will be like your goal in the next 10 years uh, uh, with, with your company? So I'll do, I'll do this one at a time. Um, I'll answer the goals for the company first, because I think the, the, the other one, the lot or the first one would be a better ending. So goals for the company, we're working, um, looking to closely work with the VA and to get in with the veterans to help our veterans of this country. It's something that I'm, I've deeply aspired to do since the beginning and the conception of this is to help the veterans who have served our countries feel better. Um, we are looking to also assist within all of the other major insurances, workman's comps. We are the first cross between this medical technology as well as exercise and fitness. So that's kind of where we fit in there. 
And over, over the next five to 10 years, it's really going to be creating and pushing those into fruition to help as many people as we possibly can get out of pain. Because th there, is, there is a big lapse in knowledge where individuals might think that they need to stretch to feel better. And you might feel better for a little bit. But once you stretch, you'll be tight again. And then you stretch again. And you go and do something and you feel better again. And then you are tight and you need to stretch again. And so this constant revolving thing that doesn't happen when you start to fix the muscular balances. And that's what we are, are proving now as we are in and on the market. Um, then the next thing for any young engineer who is looking to break away and to start their own business, I will tell you 100% right now, you probably need more money than you think. <laughs> <laughs> Capital raising. <laughs> so if you don't have deep pockets on your own, be prepared and to go through and utilize your resources through your school, your family, your friends, and begin to see who can help you with a proper proposal to raise capital. Because if I was to go back and redo all of this again, I might have done a different, I've bootstrapped everything. Okay. So that that's something that I've, I've, you know, I'm proud of and not proud of at the same time, because I look at some of the other entrepreneurs raising money and taking using other people's money, I would probably do the same now. <laughs> <laughs> After, you know, spending a considerable amount of money to get this off the ground. But, but I think that, that if you can, if you can get to even, um, you don't even have to get to an MVP, which is a minimal viable product, you don't need to get there before you start raising capital. If you can prove and get to a proof of concept, and make a compelling discussion about what you're doing, how it's going to help, how it's going to generate revenue, and how and 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 give a great project timeline for your investors. You'll be able to do this with none of your own capital. The everyone people will fund you to do this, and and I think it's really important that if you are not necessarily in the you don't come from rich parents you don't you're you're like me who worked really hard in the medical device field to save up capital and to do everything on your own. If, if I could go back, I would have made a, a very hyper compelling offer and to go to these investment firms, go to these pitch competitions, go to your school, go to the university, see who you can get in contact with. You'd be surprised how open and how helping a lot of the universities are when it comes to entrepreneurs or even like us here at the Eagle Evader with with Dr. Edwin. If you come in here and you show something compelling, he will offer you with open arms and try to help you succeed. As long as it's as long as you've put some thought into it and to and to show how this is going to succeed and 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 move forward, you you don't need to have a hundred thousand dollars, two hundred thousand dollars in the bank ready to go. But you will if you bootstrap it. <laughs> yeah, and no, that's the key, right? Like usually, like we 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 challenge ourselves. Okay, until I get money, I'll do this. But like you 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 did yourself, you're a proven proven uh, a record. That if you work hard for a few years, you save, you you learn the the tricks of the game, how to sell stuff, how to do a good marketer, how to become a, a better person, and um, and bottom line, whatever it is, is just do it. Just don't dream about it. Just get your hands on and do it. File that patent, file for that technology, pay for that money to get the prototype going, show it to your friends, you know, be ready for being criticized. Nobody's gonna be like, hey, I love your product, right? And uh, Jordan right. is here to testify that at least, and 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 there will be some people who tell you you have a great idea, even if it's a bad idea. So don't just go to your friends and family. Go to your actual customer. Find your actual customer. But the one thing I want to lead off on, which comes back to what you just said, Edwin, mm -hmm. go out and do it. Does not mean listen to books about it. Going out and doing it is going out and experiencing it and executing upfront and firsthand. And once you have a baseline understanding as to what you need to execute, then you can go read the books about it. Then you actually have something to fall back on to understand how it works. Because if you're just reading with no falling, with no backing on this, you're not going to understand how to implement what you learn. That's totally true. So that's come back to an end of another episode of Tech Head TV here from the Eaglevator. And Jordan has done a very good job today, and we will bring you more back because he has a lot of experience in biotech, biohacking, and no, no, and even like last week RNA or DNA, he's an expert <laughs> on that too. 
he's fucking with a doctor, Dr. Amos, and we had like a couple of weeks back here. So they were both having a conversation that for the first time I couldn't understand what they were saying. So I felt like I need to learn a little bit more of that. But thanks again for watching and bye bye. Thank you.